Hey, what's up? Today we're going to install a vinyl chip epoxy basketball floor in a garage. Okay, so this is one of the coolest garages we've ever worked on. They had a vaulted ceiling so that they could actually play basketball in the garage. We started by grinding the concrete. I didn't video that because my guys did it before I got there. The next step is to roll high solids epoxy across the entire floor. We squeegee the primer out across the floor, we back roll it with the roller, and then we broadcast chips into it. We actually throw so many chips onto the floor that you can no longer see the epoxy. The next day we come back and scrape the floor and clean up all the excess chips. Once the floor is clean, we're going to apply a polyaspartic urethane top coat. We're going to install this product at about 130 square feet a gallon. So once the clear polyasparic is put on the floor, we were done. So we come back the next day and that's where we're actually going to paint the basketball court lines on the floor. What we're doing here is we are dropping a plumb bob down from the center of the rim of the basketball goal. And they're also dropping it down from the corners of the backboard and put marks on the floor so that we have lines that we can work off of. Okay, so I'm not going to get into the math behind laying out these lines. I'll leave a link down below showing you the chart we used to, to lay out the basketball court. But the gist of it is that the foul line has to be calculated as a certain distance from the backboard, whereas the three-point line has to be calculated as a certain distance from the center of the rim. And you can see here that we were just measuring four feet from the backboard, and that's where the baseline goes. So once we had the baseline done, we went ahead and taped that with the tape machine. Typically the foul line is 15 feet from the backboard, and we used some corner to corner measurements to make sure that the sides of the foul lane were perpendicular to the baseline. Once we were comfortable that our lines were in the right spot, we went ahead and chalked them, and we're actually ready to put the tape down so that we'll be able to paint the lines later. Now the foul line and the sides of the foul line are all taped. Shaver's working on the lines on the side of the foul line while Troy and I are working on the top of the key. So all we did was find the center of the foul line and we connected the circle kit to the tape machine. It's actually pretty simple. You just push the tape machine and it makes the arc for you. Once the key is taped, we come back to our spot that we marked that was the center of the rim and we set our circle kit on top of that spot. We're using our tape machine again. Um, this thing has saved us so much time over the years. And you hook the poles to it, you just push the tape machine and it puts the tape down at a perfect arc, whatever it needs to be. Whenever we're working on circles, I always worry that like when we start, you know, that's fine, it works where we start. For some reason though, I never trust that it's gonna line up when we come to the end. It's always so satisfying when we get to the other end of the circle and it lines up perfectly. So once everything's taped up, there is still some, so you have some work to do. The lines are made to overlap each other, so we just get a razor knife out and cut it as straight as we can, try to make it look as good as we can.
Okay, before we actually start painting lines, we take a sanding block and we lightly scuff the polyspartic. This is probably not necessary, but the idea is that it gives the surface a slight profile to help the paint stick to the floor. All right, thanks for watching. I'll leave links in the description for where you can buy this tape machine. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a device like that to do the basketball court lines. We've tried to do lines and things like that before without the machine, just doing it by hand. And even though this tape machine is kind of expensive, it saves so much time and it comes out perfect every time. So can't say enough good things about it. I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick that up. If you wanna learn more about our vinyl chip epoxy system, I made a full walkthrough video. I'll leave a link to that over here. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.